Hey, it's Jen with another Tech Tips 411 tutorial. Today I'm going to show you a new feature that just released in Zoom. It's called Immersive View. Let's check it out. Guess what? There is an absolutely cool new feature called Immersive View inside of Zoom. We can make it look like we're together. So I'm going to hit this little button up here. I go to View. And you'll see their speaker view, gallery view, and immersive scene. When I click on that, oh, it brings up this magical option here. So I'm going to grab, let's see, where do, do we want to be like on the art wall? How cool, look at that. I feel like, mm, okay. All right, so I can go up here and I can change my options. So I can change my immersive view. It brings it up again. And I've got a couple of options. And so notice there's ones that are only five people, 25. That's the max number of people that you can add in an immersive scene. I can do six here. Oh, here's two. Let's go be uh, hanging out in the workroom scene here. So it'll, it'll put us right there. And so now, hey friend, how cool is this? So the more people you have, uh, the more interesting this is going to be and more entertaining, but that change immersive view option is now available so you can actually use any of these. And what's really cool is if I wanted to do a classroom scene, I've got only 25 students. I can click that. And right now it's just Melissa and I, thank you, Melissa, for being in class with me today. Shout out to Melissa, but look at this. You can have your whole class together in a virtual scene. You can even upload your own virtual background that you want to design. So maybe you could recreate your classroom and upload that as a background. So super, super cool. Melissa, did you also know I can actually choose manually and pick where you're going to go? How cool is that? So if you want to make sure that everybody's in their right spot, you can click that option as well. So that's also under that change immersive scene automatically or manually and choose where you sit in the room. So I can do that. Super cool. And I can now grab you and move you all around. So maybe I want you right there and I'm in the front and maybe I want to be in the back row too. Cause maybe I'm that student and I can even <laughs> resize myself. So now we can talk about proportions and we can make sure that I fit and I'm not just this big bobblehead in the scene. How I love cool this. is that? Awesome. Love it. Mm -hmm. So many possibilities of what teachers can do to engage their learners using this immersive view in zoom. Thanks, Melissa. Quick tip, you want to make sure that you've updated to the most recent version of Zoom. You can verify that you have your Zoom app updated by clicking on your icon or logo at the top of your Zoom app on your local device. And as you can see, you can scroll down here and check for updates. As you can see, I'm up to date. A couple other things you need to know. This feature is only available on devices that can use the virtual background option in Zoom. So unfortunately, iPads and Chromebooks, this won't work. There's a lot of ways you can use this to engage your learners during virtual lessons and to level up your online meetings. I'd love to know in the comments, how are you going to use Immersive View with your learners or your colleagues? If you found this video beneficial, please go ahead and give it a like. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. It definitely helps out. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.